In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a vertical video clip with a blurred background. I've assumed you have some knowledge of editing in Blender. A link to two of my beginners tutorials is included in the description below. One for version 2.8 which is the version I shall be using for this tutorial and another for older versions of Blender. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought the same video clip into Blender twice. Um, and obviously as you probably are aware, um, Blender always stretches a video clip to match the aspect ratio in the output box or in the render box on the older versions or the properties panel in the older versions. So I'm going to just change this to match the length a minute. OK. Which is a good thing from the point of view of stretching out the video clip because believe it or not this is actually a vertical video clip. Um, so obviously I don't need two audio tracks so I'm going to just left click on the top green audio track then press X and left click on Raise strip. Okay. So the first track, the bottom blue track, left click on this. This is your first video track. And then come to add, left click on this. And next to effect strip, left click on Gaussian blur. Now in the effect strip box you'll see a couple of size sizes. One size X, one size Y. The higher number you place in these two boxes the more your video will blur. So I'm going to type in 100 in size X and I'm going to type in 100 in size Y. And after I've done that, in the box next to Blend where it says Replace, I'm going to left click and then I'm going to left click Alpha Over. OK. Left click on the next video track and again go back to the Add button and in the next to the effect strip, this time left click on Transform. Again, next, under the effect strip, look for something under scale that says X1. And you're going to have to reduce this. Now this is where it gets a little bit, um, can be a bit fiddly trying to work out the exact sort of size. I found on my video clip that if I typed in 0.32, that will bring this back to its original size. Um, you you might find yours is a bit different, but 0 0.32, 0 0.31, 0 0.34, it's going to be there or thereabouts. Um, if you really want to try and work it out um, to the down to the fine detail, I suggest you just uh, render a, an image first of all in the 3D re render screen and then bring it in and marry this up to match but for point you know for the amount of difference it's not going to be far out so 0.31 to 0.34 it would be about right um, okay so once you've done that the only thing you need to do with your transform strip selected is again at the top next to blend left click on replace and then left click all for over and you've created your uh, video over a blurred version of your video clip as a background. Okay. Now the only thing that is difficult in Blender is actually if you wanted to say increase this now it's very difficult so obviously if you made this larger you'd reduce the amount of size um, 
on the edges and that's not so easy to do without first of all rendering your video and transforming your video again so I'll just go and render this video and show you how to do increase the size um, evenly so I'll come back to this once I've um, rendered this video okay well I've brought the final rendered video back into um, Blender and I've also actually improved the colour of the video it was a bit washed out so but that's a lesson um, I'm not going to go into here I've got a clip on how to do that in Blender in one of my tutorial uh, playlists so as I said before you you can't there is a bit limited blender when it comes to sort of changing sizes in the video editor so the only thing that you can do now to sort of reduce the size of the um edges if you like is select your video clip and then go back into add box and then next to effect strip put another transform strip in and this time in the effect strip box just left click in the uniform scale box and this will bring up your um, one scale now you can sort of increase the size by left clicking on the left arrow to your happy this is easier done with proxy rendering um, but I won't bother with that until you're sort of happy with the size you've got keep going until you've got the right sort of edges that you're looking for and then you can change the position on the Y axis up or down so can take a bit of playing around with just drag it down very carefully slowly a little bit at a time or go the other direction make sure you're in the Y position box just basically set it up to the kind of view that you want once you're happy with that um, you have to go ahead and re-render again it's probably not the best way to do this using Blender um, I would probably if I had to do a lot of these use something like Caden Life but um, if you fancy having a go in Blender that's one of the ways you can do this um, hopefully that will help somebody thank you for watching cheers